The Ascension, humanity's first generational starship, cruised silently through the void of space, a glittering needle threading the tapestry of stars. Within its hull, thousands of souls slept in cryogenic suspension, dreaming of the new world that awaited them Kepler-438b, an Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting a distant star, ripe for terraforming and colonization. Captain Mikhail Volkov stood on the bridge, gazing out at the inky expanse. At 45, he was one of the few crew members who had been woken up the most of the 80-year journey. The ship's rotating crew system meant he spent years at a time in cold sleep between shifts. But now, with their destination finally in reach, the anticipation was palpable. Suddenly, alarms blared through the ship. Captain, unidentified vessel approaching off the starboard bow Lieutenant David Chang called out from the tactical station. Volkov rushed over. On the view screen, a massive alien craft loomed into view, easily dwarfing the ascension. It had a bulbous central hull with sharp, talon-like protrusions. Hail them, Volkov ordered. Seconds ticked by intense silence. Then, a deep guttural voice filtered through the comm system, speaking in an alien tongue. The meaning was lost, but the aggressive tone was unmistakable. Red alert. All hands to battle stations Volkov barked. Throughout the ship, crew scrambled to arm themselves as cryopods hissed open, disgorging the remainder of the security forces from cold sleep. The alien ship pounced, latching onto the Ascension's hull with a shuddering impact. Warning hull breach flashed on the screen. Their boarding as Chang reported grimly, checking the charge on his plasma rifle. Intruder alerts on Deck 7, 12, and 15. Volkov gritted his teeth. After coming so far, he refused to let their mission end like this. Repel the borders. We will not lose the ascension. Fierce close quarters battles erupted throughout the ship as the human defenders clashed with the alien attackers. The borders were massive brutes, a twisted melding of bear and dog with powerful jaws and razor claws. Driven by an insatiable bloodlust, they surged against the human lines in a relentless onslaught. In the hydroponics bay, Sergeant Travis Moore and his squad crouched behind hastily erected barricades as a pack of snarling aliens advanced down the main aisle. Bursts of plasma fire lit up the dimness, the strobing light casting monstrous shadows. Two boarders fell, scorched holes punched through their chests, but more poured in behind them. Fall back Moore shouted, lobbing a frag grenade. The explosion ripped through the hydroponics trays, spraying dirt and alien gore. Moore's men scrambled for the far door. Private Hernandez caught a swipe across the back, blood spraying as he screamed and fell. Moore dragged him through, slamming the pressure door shut. He keyed his comm. Hydroponics lost. Regroup at the armory. Similar scenes played out across the ship. Fire teams fought running battles through the corridors, slowly giving ground. The aliens seemed to have no fear of death, hurling themselves against the defenders' guns with abandon. Bit by bit, the humans were pushed back. On the bridge, Volkov listened to the frantic reports with a heavy heart. They couldn't hold out much longer. All remaining crew fall back to the command module he ordered, prepare to detach and scuttle the main hull. It was a bitter pill, sacrificing the bulk of their ship. But the command module was a mini-ship in its own right, with its own engines and life support. If they could just break away. The bridge door exploded inward, sending Volkov sprawling. A towering alien warrior stalked through the smoke, a jagged blade clutched in its claws. Volkov scrambled for his sidearm, but the alien was faster. The blade descended, only to bounce off a shimmering energy field as Chang stepped between them, omni-shield bracer raised. Get to the module, he shouted, shoving Volkov towards the access hatch. Volkov hesitated only a split second before complying, racing down the passageway as behind him, a dozen security troopers poured onto the bridge, driving the alien back in a hail of plasma bolts. The remaining crew piled into the cramped command module, sealing the hatches. Volkov counted the survivors, his heart sinking. Less than a hundred left, out of an original complement of five thousand. He located the hated control, took a deep breath, and pressed it. Explosive bolts fired, shearing the module free of the main hull. Engines to full he ordered as the module surged away. Behind them, the scuttling charges ignited, and the ascension bloomed into a miniature sun, the alien ship still latched to its side like a malignant parasite. A ragged cheer went up from the survivors as the flames consumed their attackers. But their relief was short-lived. Captain. 
The alien ship survived the sensor operator reported incredulously. Volkov stared at the display in numb disbelief. The enemy vessel hung amid the glowing wreckage, scorched and battered but intact. Then, ponderously, it began to turn towards them. A brilliant lance of energy seared out from the alien ship, narrowly missing the module and blasting a tumbling cryo-chamber to molten slag. Volkov paled. Those weapons could gut them in seconds. Get us out of here, maximum burn. The module's engines flared to life, but the smaller craft couldn't hope to outrun the warship bearing down on them. The alien guns glowed as they prepared to fire again. Suddenly, space rippled and a sizzling bolt of exotic energy slammed into the enemy ship's flank, sending it careening away. A sleek silver craft decloaked off the module's bow, outlandish yet clearly of human design. Greetings, Ascension. Looked like you could use a hand, a woman's voice crackled over the comm. Always happy to help a fellow Terran. Sit tight. We'll finish this. The strange ship turned to face the alien behemoth. A salvo of shimmering projectiles launched from its underside. Volkov watched in awe as the two ships dueled, the crippled alien warship clearly outmatched by the newcomer's baffling technology. Finally, a crackling beam punched right through the enemy's heart, and it crumbled apart in a soundless explosion. The mysterious ship hailed them again. Ascension, are you receiving? We represent Eden's Gate, the first extrasolar human colony, out of Kepler 438b. We weren't entirely forthcoming about our current level of advancement. If you'll allow us to dock, we can render assistance and explain everything. As the module coupled with the gate ship, Volkov struggled to process it all. They had set out as trailblazers, the first wave of human expansion to the stars. And now they learned they had been only the second. It was a bit of a blow to the ego, but at the same time an immense feeling of pride and relief washed over him. They had done it. Against all odds, humanity had gained a foothold among the stars. Aboard the gate ship, the Ascension survivors goggled like kids in a candy store at the fantastical technologies surrounding them, from hollow displays to antimatter reactors and inertial dampeners. Volkov met with Eden's Gate's leaders and learned the full story how the original colony mission had discovered a derelict alien seed ship and reverse-engineered its advanced tech, bootstrapping ahead centuries ahead of baseline humans. Knowledge they were now eager to share with their Terran brethren. With this, we can upgrade all our colony ships. Slash transit times, bolster our defenses Volkov breathed, mind racing at the possibilities. And establish humanity as a true interstellar power the gate captain agreed one that will never again be caught unprepared by hostile alien forces. Volkov thought back to those final moments aboard the Ascension, his crew beaten and bloody, seconds from annihilation. Never again. As the gate ship towed the battered module the final short leg to Kepler 438b, Volkov stood on its observation deck and drank in the sight of humanity's first true colony world. The exomoon gleamed a vibrant blue and green, a jewel in the obsidian sky, while its colossal gas giant primary, a beer 38, glowered a deep amber on the horizon, lightning storms flickering across its turbulent surface. The gate ship set down outside the colony's main dome. As the weary survivors of the Ascension staggered down the ramp, a sea of cheering colonists met them, welcoming them to their new home. In the months that followed, aided by Eden's gate's advanced tech, Kepler 438b flourished, the first new waves of colony ships arrived within the year, their transit times halved. Defense satellites and monitors blanketed the moon's orbitals, ever vigilant for the return of the bear dog, aliens, or other hostile forces. A new age of exploration and expansion dawned for the human race. United by the knowledge that they were not alone in the universe, and by the grim realization that not every alien race would greet them with open arms, humanity stood poised to assume its place as a true interstellar civilization. Led by brave pioneers like the crew of the Ascension, they would carry the light of Terra to the stars and remake the galaxy in mankind's image. The future was theirs to seize, and seize it they would, with a buckler on one arm and a blaster in the other.